Welcome to Lake Carolina and now let's travel to Chaco Canyon in New Mexico. There in a valley, not too far away from Farmington, New Mexico, you'll find an amazing place, an amazing set of ruins that were built. Those ruins, of course, were amazing structures back in the days of 900 to 1150 AD when it was a major cultural center for the Pueblo Indians in that area of the country. And nearby there, there is a hieroglyph. And on the hieroglyph, throughout the year, as the sun rises, you'll see what we could tell to be a golden dagger. And it was especially set up in such a way, and of course the dagger is not a real dagger, it's called the golden dagger because the sun will illuminate the hieroglyph in a special way. There are some rocks set up in such a way that the sun shines through a narrow slit in those rocks, and the slit then shines onto the hieroglyph, and it will then illuminate a special event of the year. For example, during the summer solstice, the, the golden dagger will shine directly at the center of the hieroglyph, indicating the longest day of the year. At the equinox, the golden dagger is somewhere between the center and the edge of the hieroglyph. And during the winter solstice, there's two daggers, one that's on the very edge of the hieroglyph, and then one that's on the other side of the hieroglyph, indicating that this is now the shortest day of the, of the year, and that winter is about to start, and then the days will become longer again. Again, this was of very special significance to the Indians living in the area, knowing when these events would occur. Again, the alignment of the structures of the, in this case, hieroglyphs and the structures of the Puebla uh, Indian Cultural Center is all geared around the knowledge of what happens during the year and when the shortest and longest days of the summer were to occur. So you can see that all over the world, people very intently put these structures, put these hieroglyphs and put these monuments in place to identify those special days of the year. Again, a tremendous sight to see, and that would be something to behold, to see the golden dagger shining on that hieroglyph in New Mexico, USA. There you go.